A very warm welcome to you on uh, this most pleasantly clear evening. As you can see, we are getting through the uh, pre-match formalities and processes, the uh, players coming onto the field for the usual fanfare and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect. Temperatures are kind enough. It is an absolute picture under the floodlights here. And the match that follows ought to follow suit. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And Talia Spohr have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So we're up and running. Heading. Chance! Skirtle plays it towards the front. Akichi. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Akichi! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Erting. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Skirtle positions himself well and cuts it out. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Skirtle. Noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim. Dira. Time to deliver. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. Cuts it out. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And he's on side. It's Edding! And it's a goal! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too.
and Talia Spore get themselves into the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. It's come loose. Now it's Slimani. The Slimani! He's missed another one. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Tufan does well there, alert. Calderim. And Talia Spohr get it back again. Erding, and it's got through. Going through, drills one in. Topper. Ball's gone out of play. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Topper. This time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Erting has pinged one through here. He's got away. Striding forward, facing goal. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Aimed long and direct, over to the left, gets into some space, going through. Dira. And it's Slimani. Looks to clip it forward. Breaks on here. That's a promising ball. Offside, yep, looks it. He may have been caught offside, but Erding may have been born offside, but he'll continue playing on the shoulder of the last defender, I can tell you. Usbarakli. Tira. Ekichi. And that's got to be a goal kick. As by Rackley tries a pass forward, pushes it out wide. Surely he scores. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. And the game has already resumed here. Fenerbahce need to get the balance right to sort this out. He's had a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. It's Erting. Aimed long and direct. Now, can he capitalise? He's left his man, and the finish! 
And the ball's come out. Forward it goes. Ekichi. Ekichi. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Going through. Boots it to safety. Antonia Spohr uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Top out. He's had a go! He's missed, but not by that far. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. it out to the flank. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Valbuena. And the shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And it's hoisted clear. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. It just has to be done. Battles to win it back. so far Jim well there'll be no accusations of uh, a lack of effort they're giving as good as they get when it comes to chances Erding spreads it towards the left back into the middle and Talia Spohr have it back and they can go again Dira he's played him through now it's Erding. Hits one! All oh, the balls come loose. Can he deliver? It's a throw. Fires it in low. Dashing forward at pace. Just brushed off the ball there. Top out. Fenerbahce are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And it's Erting. Who's loose? Who's getting there? There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Now the counter. Gets his foot in there. Fenerbahce are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a loose ball. Played into space out wide. <laughs> Referee has seen that as a dive. Listen, he can play the innocent as much as he wants, Peter, but it was fairly obvious to everyone here. He's got no hiding place. A 
Kichi. Crunching tackle. Tufan. Lovely feet. Ekichi. Surely. Shoots. What about it? They have stolen level at the last. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. So all square with almost no time remaining. So nothing between them in 90 minutes and we are in for extra time. Yeah, and it's been a contest between two sides that were evenly matched on the day. Neither deserves to be on the losing side. So to clarify, extra time will follow. 90 minutes gone, and nothing between them still. Fenerbahce did fantastically well to force extra time, having been on the brink of defeat in normal time. I think we could say they're the better off of the two teams, at least psychologically. Oh, and he's got good distance, who's chasing? Real chance to break. Oh, good interception. Tufan. Dira. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Towering header. It's broken loose gone a long way up and away. Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Ball's out, it'll be a throw in again. Erding. And it's Erding. Was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. it away and that's been leave it clear to fan chooses big chance danger averted for now and that's it for the first half of extra time well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And we're off for the final time. This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it, and now for the final act.
Wolves out on the left now. Erting. Can't get the better of his opposite number. That's surely a foul free kick. And he's going to Rex. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. They've played it short. In with a header! Again. Let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. He's through the middle. Now it's Erding. He's got away. And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Erding. It's a great ball. Tufan. Dira conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Gets it upfield. Well played, he saw that coming. Topa. Calderim. Kitchi plays it out to the wing. Going through. Room for a shot. And he just whacked. Can he score? His reputation is better than what we've just seen. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Look, I've been in this position myself, and after a grueling game, you don't want to back down if the manager asks you to take a penalty for fear of appearing weak, uh, you can't let fatigue cloud your judgment. Now the time for brave hearts and strong minds. Real tension here then as the first man readies himself. Erding steps up to take the first one. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. Well, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Slimani steps up for his penalty. And he sticks it away. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Antalya Spore from one behind. Right in the corner. Good penalty. Completely wrong-footed the keeper. Balbuena will take their second. No, it's been saved. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. The third man in the queue. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Dira will take the third penalty. Great stop, keeper's denied him. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Oh, what a save! He's so focused there, fantastic save. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Keeper, no chance. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Coolly into the bottom corner. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. So it's down to him to keep it alive. It's in, he's kept the minute. 
It's three apiece. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Fenerbahce at the point of no return. It's there, and the fight goes on. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Oh, he saved it! That's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. So can he be the hero? That's won it! Benabache taken all the way. They found the way from the spot and they have won it. A win in the most thrilling fashion. Well, it's been such a long match and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game. But I thought they did... Really